Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing your reading, a timeless reading to see how you're coping with all the changes and how everything is unfolding. There's a lot going on for Pisces as you probably know and feel. So that's why I'm doing so many readings also because I'm kind of addicted to them. So <laughs> that is why this is my third reading in two days. So if you want to check out the other ones, uh, they're in my channel already posted. Uh, if this resonates with you, great, but also remember that there's a menu of timeless readings in my channel. So if by any chance this doesn't fully resonate or it's just not your story, you can always go there and find one for you based on the title. Pisces, thank you so much for being here. As always, if any of you by any chance is not subscribed to the Pisces Club, I invite you to please click on that subscribe button specifically or especially if you want to make someone really happy in a very easy way. That would make my day, as I always tell you guys. <laughs> Alrighty. Universe. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is coming for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Let me... maybe... yeah. I'm taking all the cards that fall on the table and I'm taking them upright specifically, right? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What does Pisces need to know today, right now? Advice for Pisces. What is coming for Pisces? What is coming for Pisces? Predictions for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh, we got the Sun. What I'm hearing is your success is inevitable. The Sun card. Your success is inevitable, Pisces, at this point. You have checked all the boxes, you have done everything that you need to do, you have been patient when you needed to be patient. You, had, you have pushed through when you needed to push through. And in everything related to work, finances, career, success, and recognition, oh boy, Pisces, are you going to shine? Are you going to shine? Wow. Yeah, Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands, as you probably know by now, if you are a regular tarot watcher, the Queen of Swords, I mean, the Queen of Wands is... Uh, a character that has a lot of like celebrity factor. So she pulls in a lot of people. She is very easily recognized as unique, as special, as... And I'm not saying that you're more special than anyone, that's not what I'm trying to say. But there's like a certain something, Pisces, that captivates the attention of people around you. You've got this aura to you, this energy that inevitably draws people in and it's paired up with your talent as well so right now maybe your talents maybe your um, hobbies side businesses actual businesses whatever it is that you do that you're very passionate about right now it's starting to shine more and more also you may be dealing with an Aries Leo or Sag woman who perhaps is gonna help you on that mission Oh my gosh, you've got the Ten of Cups, guys. Yesterday I did this reading called You Have Just Unlocked a Major Blessing. And I did that in the morning and by the afternoon, a problem that has been a problem for about five years miraculously solved itself in my business. I cannot tell you how grateful I am, and every time I think about it, I come back to the title of that reading. You have just unlocked a major blessing. And look at this, you've got the sun, you've got the ten of cups. This is major, guys. This is, these are not cards that just pop up for anyone, any time. You know, the sun is the best card in the whole deck. And the ten of cups is the highest form of emotional fulfillment. The highest level of happiness. This is happily ever after, basically, in any way that you want it, you know. Pisces, this year is very significant for your money because of Jupiter. 
And now it's like we're going into this Jupiter retrograde. I am not an astrologer, so I can't really um, explain to you exactly what this means. But for me, the way I understand it from what I've read is that we're going to go deep within with Jupiter in this money area, financial area, career, etc. And we're going to probably tweak... A lot of things that we needed to tweak and then it's just gonna blow up basically that's what I'm feeling we got the three of Pentacles yes so there's gonna be help there's gonna be assistance available for us there's gonna be people that are key this year to our growth maybe associations maybe helpers maybe sponsors maybe partners maybe assistants you know but there's gonna be key people here growing your I'm hearing empire from a very lovely heartfelt space of harmony and joy in the ten of cups here we got two beautiful ladies knitting doing some art enjoying themselves in this little wooden cabin you know with a rainbow over their heads and so much nature and beauty around them so this is particularly interesting to me as well because I have been feeling uh, like Pisces wants to go within. Some Pisces has been, have been dealing recently with um, narcissistic relationships or toxic relationships or abuse of different kinds. Very recently, like this week. Um, not everybody, some. But this, I feel, is inspiring many Pisces to go within and to say, you know what? Let me create this Ten of Cups for myself. Let me be the sun for once. You know, like, let me design the life of my dreams and really enjoy it before moving ahead. It's like you have been in a battle and you have won. This is not the meaning of the Five of Swords, usually, but if you see this guy, he has all the swords and the people are kind of like left in the ground so I guess he won but it doesn't feel as satisfying though because you know you don't want to see anyone suffer you don't want to see anyone um, hurt so Pisces is so loving that even your worst of enemies is like you wouldn't necessarily wish harm upon them maybe karma sometimes would be nice but um, not harm I once heard a saying that goes, you know, even if you're my enemy, I want you to eat, just not on my table. I want to see you eat, but just not on my table, you know? Now we've got the Four of Pentacles. So it seems like you're going to be a whole lot wiser with your money. It seems like you are going to build for yourself a layer of stability that is fantastic like maybe if you have just moved or purchased your first property or maybe you're renting a space or you know for the first time or whatever it is it's like you're gonna create this um, foundation for your life that is gonna be beautiful and when you have everything that you need then you're gonna start saving a lot maybe paying off debt you know maybe um, you know, going in different directions as far as your money, but being, bottom line, very mindful of it. That's what I'm getting. You gotta do you, Pisces, basically. Got the Six of Cups. So, obviously, with Venus Retrograde, this card has been popping up like crazy in all the readings. You're going to be probably um, feeling a lot of nostalgia for the past, reminiscing of beautiful moments, phases of your life, maybe even relationships. You may be speaking a little bit more with friends from the past or past love connections, maybe even family that you haven't spoken to in a long time. So there is kind of like this element of the past coming in but being transformed from conflict to harmony by you. You've got the strength to do this. You've got the strength to transmute the energy. So it's like the memory comes in and it could be either ugh, the past or, oh my gosh, the past. 
<laughs> and it's like you have the power right now to change it from the five of swords to the six of cups. It's like you 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 find a way to just immediately shift the perspective into saying, well, you know, that relationship didn't work, but what beautiful times we had. Or, you know, that person did me wrong, but at the end of the day, they made me happy for a while. You know, it's like you're seeing the positive in, in whatever whatever is appearing here. And thanks to that clarity, thanks to that um, mindset, I would say here with the Ace of Swords, you have been able to leave behind something very toxic. I feel like many Pisces are not aware of how toxic. You're not aware of the bullet that you dutched <laughs> recently or are about to. And you're also not aware of how much beauty is coming in your way. I've mentioned this in a lot of readings. You kinda know it, you kinda feel it, you know there's something amazing coming, you know that the best phase of your life is starting now. And if you don't know that by now with all my readings, well, it's just a friendly reminder that this has pop up, popped up in like <laughs> 9 out of 10 readings. The best phase of your life is coming, guys. It's it's kind of like already starting, and it's starting with a with this abrupt, you know, roller coaster of retrogrades and and madness. <laughs> Something amazing is coming out of it. Um, you also, I mean, some of you, not all of you, but some of you are still a little bit affected by this toxic energy. Some of you guys may still have this energy lingering in your energy field so a uh, chakra clearing would be great you know a cutting cords would be great a sage saging session <laughs> uh whatever it is that you do to purify your energy you know it, it would be a good time to do that especially um as far as this person this toxic person you can also do a vanishing spell if you really never, ever, ever want this energy to, um, you know, come back. If that's the case for you and it's really complicated and you really, 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 really need to, like, uh, get this person out of your life through, you know, uh, law enforcement or, you know, I know that this get toxic toxicity gets crazy sometimes. Like, it's levels. So, if you really want to vanish someone from your life, what you need to do is... Um, Write their name in a piece of paper, burn it, all right? In your palm, place sage, a little bit of sage, cayenne pepper, and the ashes of that pa paper with their name. And um, mix it counterclockwise. It would be wonderful if you did it as the moon was, if you did it right now, it would be great, because the moon is, um, coming into the new moon. So counterclockwise like this until it's fully mixed. And, you know, say something, set an intention, say it out loud, and then blow that mix out of a window or a balcony or a bridge or something that's gonna really like blow it all away. Because that's what you want, that energy to be, you know, completely gone away. So um, the windier, the better. And you can say something like, Right here, right now, I vanish this energy from all of my um, all of my bodies. I vanish this energy from my physical world, from my emotional world, from my mental world, from my energetic world. You know, I release this energy fully, 100%, and I will not allow it to come back, or it's not allowed to come back. Um, so mode it be, or something like that. You can personalize it the way you want it. But I feel like some of you guys need to just do that little push for that energy to come completely out of your system. It's not that you're holding on to this energy, but the person is. And they're trying not to, but they are. Messages for Pisces. Let's speak about this beautiful, beautiful future future for Pisces. What exactly? Okay, I'm getting that I need to do a um, Nine of Pentacles. Yes. I'm going to do a Celtic Cross so we have a little bit more of a context. Guys, 
guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching the readings. Thank you for your donations. Oh my gosh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm so grateful for your donations. You guys are so generous. I'm amazed by it on the daily. Every cent makes a difference. Even if it's just like, you know, like 99 cents, whatever it is. Oh my God, it makes a difference. If you guys want to ever donate, you just have to click on the join button next to the subscribe button and choose what works for you. Or if you ever feel like donating through PayPal, the link is under this video as well. Whatever you choose to donate, if you choose to donate, is highly appreciated. Definitely not necessary, okay guys? Definitely not necessary, but, you know, always appreciated. Always. Alrighty. Pisces. So Celtic cross for Pisces. Oh my goodness, the Four of Wands as the main energy. Crossed by the Seven of Cups. Yes, that makes lots of sense. In the recent past, you've got the Hangman. In your mindset, mindset sorry, you've got the High Priestess. These cards are stunning. This is the... In the future, the Fool. This is the... <laughs> the Luke's... Uh, something that looks tarot by Ciro Marchetti or something. Gosh, I even saved the box, but I still don't remember the name of it. Temperance, Three of Cups, Nine of Cups. This is amazing, guys. Five of Swords again. And the Lovers. Okay. Right now, your mind is going through so many um, subconscious purging. You may be having a really hard time sleeping. You may be having a lot of dreams and craziness going on, astral travel and spiritual experiences and revelations and healing. And you may even feel a little bit overburdened by how much is going on in your mind space intuitively. And how much your intuition is affecting your mind space right now. So you got the high priestess in your mind space. Right now you are um, creating high levels of stability. The Four of Wands is basically what I told you earlier about the foundation of your life, being very steady, being very um, strong and firm and unshakable. Many of you guys are building this in romance as well because this is a card of marriage and we got the lovers as well. Some of you guys are um, stepping into a higher level of commitment in love. I'm hearing especially those who are in established bond, you guys are going to be progressing very beautifully. The, the challenge right now is the confusion. There is so much going on at this point. There is so much madness, you know, it's like in one cup we got healing processes and in the other cup we are not sleeping well and in the other cup we've got all these retrogrades and wounds and influences. And then on that other cup, we have this situation, toxic relationship thing. And then on the other one, we have this abundance coming in. It's just like so much that it may get a little um, disorienting right now. So the best thing you can do is just flow through it. Don't try to understand it. Don't try to analyze it. Just flow through it. There is a massive, gorgeous new beginning filled with inspiration in the near future for you guys. Exciting. But you need to be patient. You need to be patient because, I mean, look at all the things that are going on. The energies are so intense right now that just be patient with how things unfold. And don't have um, particular expectations. Just let things happen as the universe wants them to. There is so many reasons right now to celebrate. There are so many reasons right now to celebrate. Celebrate, you know, even if it's just, you know, at home yourself or whatever, you know, enjoy. Enjoy the things that are moving forward. 
Enjoy the beauty of it all. In your environment, there's emotional abundance, there's success, there's achievement, there's lots of good things in your life and in other people's. Hopes and fears, you've got the five of swords. So yeah, as a hope, you have a hope to just move out of conflict. You just want to leave conflict behind. And you have fear also that, you know, you just don't want more conflict to arrive. It's like you want to leave it behind and then start anew. You don't want to leave it behind and then have to deal with another situation and another situation and another situation that brings in conflict. Some of you guys are letting go of a sort of like ghost of a relationship. What I'm getting is someone who is haunting you. Not not literally, like not their ghost, literally. Um, but like someone's thoughts about you are kind of like haunting your energy, if you know what I mean. And you're moving past that. Some of you guys are going to have a little bit of a, more of a hard time with this than others. But you will overcome it. Okay, guys? Um, this is what I have for you today. I hope that this reading resonates. And if it doesn't, know that you have a menu of different titles that you can check out on my channel. It's just a click away. I'm going to leave under this video my website in case you want to check out the Abundance Blueprint online course or the Past Life Regression online course. Donations, I'm going to leave the link below and you can also um, go ahead and click the join button if you feel like it and see the options. The most important thing guys is for you to subscribe. Totally free, totally easy, makes my day, makes me happy. <laughs> so that's the main thing. I love you fishies. Thank you for joining me today. Bye.